August 12 to 16 Spoilers for Bold and the Beautiful Finn lashes out at Hansi Hope and DNA Doubts. Welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And give this video a like up fans of Bold and the Beautiful will have an exciting week of events from August 12 to 16, 2024. The plot of the CBS opera was full with dramatic turns. A difficult situation befell Hope Logan, Annika Noel, Finn, Tanner Novlin, and Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline Messins Wood. Additionally, in the Spencer home, Poppy Nozawa, Romy Park, and Luda Nozawa, Lisa Yamada, struggle with startling discoveries. Chief Baker, Dan Martin, makes Poppy an arrest in an unexpected turn of events. This is in response to her being accused of murder by Katie Logan, Heather Tom. But Don Diamond's character Bill Spencer is still dubious about Bold and the Beautiful. In addition, he is pushing for a second DNA test to establish Luna's lineage. In the meantime, excitement was running high in the Forrester mansion due to Daniel Romilotti's, Michael Graziati, unexpected arrival. Jennifer Garisa's character Donna Logan Forrester is quite happy with it. There are also questions around Taylor Hayes, Rebecca Buttig, unannounced homecoming, and enhancing the drama with a hint of mystery. As the plot developed over the week, viewers were kept on the edge of their seats. Liam Spencer, played by Scott Clifton, expressed worries about Poppy and Luna's impact on his father Bill. A bombshell was thrown as the week was coming to an end when Lai Finnegan, Naomi Matsuda, tells Poppy a startling secret. The plot promises more turns and turns in the next episodes, which air on August 12, August 16, 2024. Get all of the news and spoilers for Bold and the Beautiful every day right here, and check back for updates on the whereabouts of your favorite characters. The August heat was nothing compared to the tension sizzling within the Forrester mansion as the week began. All seemed normal on the surface, but underneath, emotions were bubbling to a dangerous boil. Finn and Steffi had been navigating the treacherous waters of marriage and parenthood with a delicate balance, but lately, a new complication had entered their lives, Hope Logan. Hope had always been close to Steffi, ever since their bitter rivalry transformed into an uneasy friendship. They'd managed to co-parent peacefully and even build a bridge over the years. But lately, something had changed. Hope had been spending more time at the Forrester Mansion, ostensibly to bond with her daughter Beth and Steffi's daughter Kelly, but her interactions with Finn were becoming increasingly frequent and unsettling. It was one of those long, languid afternoons when Hoke showed up unannounced at the mansion. The girls were playing in the backyard, their laughter echoing through the spacious living room, where Finn and Steffi were taking a rare moment to themselves. Finn was on the couch, flipping through a medical journal when the doorbell rang. Steffi looked up from her phone, raising an eyebrow. Are we expecting someone? she asked, glancing at Finn. He shook his head, his expression puzzled. Not that I know of. Steffi got up to answer the door, and as she opened it, she was greeted by Hope's smiling face. Hope, what a surprise, Steffi said, though her tone hinted at the fact that this was becoming less of a surprise and more of a regular occurrence. Hi, Steffi. I was in the neighborhood and thought I'd drop by to see the girls, Hope said brightly, stepping inside before Steffi could respond. Steffi forced a smile. Of course, they're in the backyard. Hope's eyes darted toward the living room, where Finn was sitting. Hey, Finn, how's it going? Finn looked up, his expression neutral. Hey, Hope, everything's good. Just catching up on some reading. Hope walked over to the couch, her hand casually brushing Finn's arm as she leaned in to look at the magazine he was holding. Anything interesting? she asked, her voice too close, too familiar. Steffi watched the exchange, her unease growing by the second. She knew Hope had always been friendly, but lately her friendliness seemed to be crossing a line, especially where Finn was concerned. Finn, however, was beginning to feel the pressure of Hope's advances. 
he had tried to ignore it, convincing himself that he was overreacting, but each touch, each lingering glance, chipped away at his patience. Today was no different, and as Hope's hand graced his arm, he felt a surge of irritation. Hope, Finn said, his voice firmer than usual as he gently pulled away. Is there something you need? Hope blinked, seemingly caught off guard by his tone. Oh no, I just... Because if you're here to see the girls, they're outside, Finn continued, his tone polite but unmistakably distant. Steffi noticed the shift in Finn's demeanor, and while Hope part hesitated. of her was relieved, her bright that. smile faltering just a bit. Right, of course, she stepped back, giving Finn some space, but the air between them was already thick with tension. Steffi decided to intervene before things escalated. Hope, why don't we take the girls out for ice cream? It's a perfect day for it. Hope seemed to brighten at the suggestion, nodding eagerly. That sounds great. Let me just say hi to the girls first. As Hope disappeared into the backyard, Steffi turned to Finn, her expression questioning. Are you okay? Finn sighed, running a hand through his hair. I'm fine, Steffi. It's just, I don't know. Lately, Hope's been a little too comfortable around me. It's starting to feel inappropriate. Steffi's heart sank. She had sensed it too, but hearing Finn voice his concerns made it all the more real. I've noticed it too. I'll talk to her, Finn. This can't go on. Finn nodded, grateful for Steffi's understanding. Thanks, Steffi. I don't want to make a big deal out of this, but I also don't want anything to come between us. Steffi took his hand, squeezing it reassuringly. We'll handle this together. Nothing's going to come between us. But as they exchanged a determined look, both of them knew that this was only the beginning of a much larger storm brewing on the horizon. The Forester Mansion wasn't the only place where tension was on the rise. Across town, at Forester Creations, another drama was unfolding. Ridge Forrester had called a family meeting to discuss a matter that had been quietly gnawing at him for weeks, the issue of Douglas Forrester's paternity. It wasn't the first time that the question of Douglas's paternity had caused turmoil in the family. Years ago, Thomas Forrester had revealed that Douglas was, in fact, his son, not Ridge's. The revelation had rocked the family, but they had eventually come to terms with it. Or so they thought. But now, with the stakes higher than ever and the family's future hanging in the balance, Ridge found himself revisiting old doubts. The recent closeness between Thomas and Hope had reignited suspicions in Ridge's mind, suspicions that had been buried for years. As the family gathered in the office, the atmosphere was thick with anticipation. Ridge stood at the head of the table, his expression serious as he addressed the room. Thank you all for coming on such short notice, Ridge began, his voice steady but laced with tension. There's something that's been on my mind, and I think it's time we address it. Brooke, who was sitting beside him, reached out to place a reassuring hand on his arm. She had a sinking feeling about where this conversation was headed, and she knew it wouldn't be easy for anyone. Ridge, what's this about? Eric Forrester asked, concern etched on his face. As the patriarch of the family, he had seen his fair share of crises, but this felt different, more personal, more painful. Ridge took a deep breath, locking eyes with Thomas, who was seated across from him. Thomas, this is about Douglas. I've been having some doubts about his paternity. The room fell silent, the words hanging in the air like a dark cloud. Thomas's expression hardened, a mix of anger and disbelief flashing across his face. Doubts? What are you talking about, Dad? We went through this years ago. Douglas is my son, Thomas said, his voice rising with frustration. Ridge held up a hand to calm him. I know, Thomas, but with everything that's been happening lately, with you and Hope, I can't help but wonder if we've missed something. If there's more to the story than we originally thought. Hope, who had been quietly observing the conversation, suddenly felt the weight of everyone's gaze on her. She shifted uncomfortably in her seat, her mind racing. The suggestion that Douglas might not be Thomas's son was shocking, 
and it opened up old wounds that she thought had healed. Ridge, Brooke interjected gently, I understand your concerns, but this is a very delicate matter. We need to approach it carefully. Eric nodded in agreement, his expression grave. Ridge, are you suggesting that we do another DNA test? Ridge hesitated, the gravity of the situation settling over him like a heavy blanket. Yes, I think it's the only way to put this to rest once and for all. I just want to make sure that we know the truth, whatever that may be. Thomas stood abruptly, his fists clenched at his sides. No, I'm not going to put Douglas through this again. He's my son, and that's all there is to it. We've been through enough, and I won't let you drag him into more uncertainty. Hope looked up at Thomas, her heart breaking at the pain in his